And NMU is celebrating 125 years. TV6's Michael Sobek joins us live from inside the Superior Dome with what you need to know about this weekend's homecoming celebration. Michael, there is so much happening. Break it down for us. There is a lot going on, Elizabeth. There's, I mean, the list goes on and on. If you look on NMU's website, it's just one event after another. So we're gonna break that down for you guys there at home. Now I have Riley joining me. You're actually with the special events here at Northern. You have an inside look of what's going on. But before we jump into things, what is the one thing people should be the most excited about when it comes to this homecoming event? There is so much to be excited for this homecoming. We're really focusing on community outreach and getting everybody in to support the cats for the 125th anniversary year. Now that's a big year, 125 years of Wildcat Pride. That's a lot and I can't be more proud. I mean, I'm already super excited. I mean, you can ask her, I was just jumping around. There's so much energy already. Now coming up, there's a lot of things starting with uh, here in Friday, what events can people expect uh, this Friday? Actually, our first, one of our first events is today, uh, four to seven behind the uh, Northern Center is the Wildcat Market put on by ASNMU. There's gonna be students with various goods and services. So definitely make sure to come and check that out. Um, on Friday, we have our homecoming parade and that is gonna be going up Third Street with student groups, uh, organizations, the Special Events Committee hosts a float decorating competition. So there's going to be some really awesome floats with our theme, Notes from Northern, to celebrate the 125th anniversary. We also have a free outdoor concert, which is completely free to the whole community in celebration of 125 years. And that's going to be opening with Sammy Brown, who's an NMU student, and ending with the amazing Maddie and Tay. Absolutely. Now, those are just some of the cool things that are happening. Now, if you take a look at your screen, you can see that there are a lot of a lot of events. I have some of them listed. We have the first one, of course, we mentioned the parade, Maddie and Tay. There's also a Wildcat welcome event where you can go into the Northern Center and all the alumni can grab some cool swag, some treats, other things like that. Now, on Saturday, there's some really cool things happening as well. We have a tailgate party that starts at 11. We also have game day. We have the football game, and that starts at 1 o'clock, and that's also what, when the tailgate party also ends. We have a lot of things going on during game day. Of course, the marching band, which you guys know I'm super excited about. And of course, there's a decades meetup. Now, that's happening towards the end of the night. That's happening from 6 to 9 p.m. And, that, and for those, if you are in the 1970s era, you are going to be in at the Holiday Inn. If you're in the 1980s era, you'll be at the Wooden Nickel. For the 90s, they'll be at Breakers. And for the 2000s, that's at Diggs. So definitely check those out and hang out there. That's on Saturday. Thank you so much, Riley, for joining me this morning. I'm super excited about, of course, all of homecoming events. I hope to see you out, especially the tailgate party, all the cool things going on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, coming up on our next event, we're actually going to take a closer look at that game day event. We're talking about the band, what they're going to be doing during the parade, and, of course, game day. It's back to you guys. All right, thanks so much, Michael. You can tell he's really excited, <laughs> oh, yeah. as he should be, as he graduated from Northern, so this is always a big week. Yeah, oh, he's just giddy. And there are so many things happening. Some of them are inside. A lot of them are outside, though. So we're looking at you for a great weekend to participate in that concert and yeah. the parade. Mm -hmm. How's it looking? It's a sunny, warm march to the finish of summer. A full forecast after the break.